judging by all the uh, blue smoke that just came off the uh, biscuit jointer, I think it might be blunt. Right, let's get on and uh, get these panels glued up. So here is the joinery that I used on the carcass. It is called a half blind half lock joint. As they slide together nicely. So I chose to use 18 mil for my carcass thickness. So then when I did this joint, it would end up nice and even with a six mil piece, a little six mil tenon and another six more ten and below. I chose to use this thickness of material because when I put my two outside dado chippers together, um, they add up to six mil. So nicely splitting it into thirds. So when the joint is actually put together, this will be my side of my carcass and this will be the top. And this domino hole here was just me um, setting up the domino joint to get it perfectly halfway on my material to uh, put in my middle rail. There you go, it slides together nicely. Right, that's all the joinery cut. Time to get this glued together. Right, that's the carcass and base made. Let's mill up some timber and get these drawers put together.
Here you can see me grooving my draw sides, ready to take the draw bottoms. And uh, once you've finished grooving your draw fronts, you can leave the fence exactly where it is, raise the blade up and cut your drawbacks to width. So that's all the rebates and grooves cut in these draw components. Time to sand the internal faces. Ready for gluing up? Now all the draw fronts have been planed so they fit nice, it's time to reinforce these half lap joints. <laughs> Now the glue has gone hard, I can flush trim these plugs and give it a sand. Here I am giving the drawers and draw bottoms a thin down coat of lacquer so when I glue the draw bottoms in it's easier to clean up the glue squeeze out.
Here I'm trying out some yellow stain on an off-cut of beach left over from the draw front. I've realised because the beach is quite pinky, it's making the yellow stain quite dark, so I'm going to put down a white stain and then two coats of yellow on top. Now it is time to make the draw pulls. I'm going to be using this stripey Zebrano. All sides of the draw pulls are going to have a nine degree bevel.